Hello everyone, my name is SPIC23 here for a Katain module tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be covering the very annoying button module. So the very annoying button, or the VAB, which is what I'll be sorting into throughout this video, is a pseudo needy. Uh, it works similar to a needy where it uh, starts out where you can't do anything and then it will activate in which you have time to submit an answer and you have to submit an answer before the time runs out. And if you let it run out or you um, submit an answer, doesn't matter if it's right or not, then the module will deactivate and not be able to be touched for a while until it reactivates again. However, unlike a regular needy module, is that this module can be solved. Um, we're going to get into that part later. Um, so, the, because this bomb only contains fabs, the entire part of the time running out actually doesn't apply, and I can just let the timer go down and down and it won't strike me since the other only VABs or any other things that are classified by its ignore list since VAB is a boss module are on the bomb and all other other solvable modules are not on the bomb. So uh, that's what the module looks like as I said uh, it has nine arrows on left and right. Um, this number or these arrows convert to a number basically meaning the number of arrows on the right or left. Uh, are going to be our time to submit. We also have a um, button in the middle that will be one of four colors. It's our red, yellow, green, and blue. And to solve this module, um, or and to deactivate it, I guess, is to click this button at a correct time based on the number of arrows left. There we go. So, now each um, button, or each color, has a different time when it can be pressed. So for red, um, as you can see, this table says times we do not press. So do not press red if it's greater than five, which would be six, seven, eight, and nine. Do not press yellow if it's even, which would be two, four, six, and eight. Do not press green if it's a multiple of three or five, which would be three, five, six, and nine. And do not press blue when it is prime, which would be 2, 3, 5, and 7. Now, for simplicity's sake, I'm actually going to change these times where you do not submit into times where you can submit. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. 1, 2, 4, 7, 8. 1, 4, 6, 8, 9. So, what I've listed is the times where you can submit, and of course the times are denoted by the number of arrows on the module that are still lit. So for red, uh, we could submit it at 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. We're going to submit at 4. And you can see that arrow turns white, indicating that we have submitted at that time. And that was also correct, so the module solves. Uh, if you submit at an invalid time, let's say if I submit blue on 2, then the module will strike since you cannot submit two for blue, so that's not on this list that I've just uh, listed out right here. But we can submit it on one. And there we go, we could submit this on five. And there we go. And for this one, we could submit anything that is less than six. There we go. So that's not how this module works in full. I just wanted to give you guys a brief explanation of an introduction for how this module will work. So I'll be right back in a bit. All right, so here we have this module on an actual bomb. So unlike before where I was in a state where it will solve, if I miss it, then it will strike. And as you can see, the hatch is now closed, and there is only a certain chance every time, every 10 seconds, which is the amount of time it takes for these arrows to deplete, for it to reactivate. As you can see, it didn't reactivate there. Now, along with uh, these uh, values you must submit on, there are also four values stored for each color, which are right down here, the semicolon. Every time you submit, um, a color, the value at which you submitted to that is also recorded. And uh, for the rest of the colors, you must avoid that number you submitted for that color. Uh, I'm gonna wait for this to reactivate again.
All right, so here we have green. I'm going to submit green on one. There we go. And now one is stored for green. And because, you know, it wasn't the end, this model is still going. Because that's how pseudonides work. I should also mention this. So, um, unlike Swan, where uh, it, uh, it reactivates every... Um, um, blah, 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 uh, 68 seconds. And it stays active for 40 seconds before you submit your answer. The very annoying button only gives you a 10 second window to submit your answer. And... Um, you don't know when it, it's going to activate every 10 seconds because at every 10 second intervals it is only a chance for the hats to open and one thing that you may have noticed is that it actually doesn't make any sounds it's completely silent so even if you're on the other side of the bomb i may not know if it's activated or not unless if i am looking at it so that right there is probably what makes this model 10 times harder than it needs to be if because it is silent it's already bad enough for how quick it is. All right, so here's green. So because I've submitted one for green, if I were to try to submit one for green again, even though it is valid, it struck me because one is already stored for green. And even if that button was red, since even though all four colors are valid on one, if that button was like red or yellow, for example, if I tried to submit that on one, I couldn't because one is already stored for green. So, uh, we're going to wait for the monster to reactivate again. And uh, what I was going to say is, Swan also will deactivate and give a final answer after 40% of the bomb has been solved. For the VAB, it activates after all the other solvable models that are non-bosses are solved. So, it, you have to deal with this, the whole bomb, instead of the first 40%. And especially on bigger bombs, it's going to be quite a hassle because... Not only is it quick, you have to submit your answer, but it's also silent. Yeah, this module is very annoying for a reason, isn't it? Good luck trying to get anything done. As it's here is red, so I can't submit one because one is already sworn in green. We could submit on two. And there we go, that's fine. Now two is stored for red. So for any of these, now I can't submit on one or two. And it will keep being stored a value for each color. Um, I don't know the exact percent chances that it has a chance to open. I might look it up when, as soon as I finish the tutorial. But otherwise, um, yeah, you basically, once you're just doing modules, you have to quickly turn around every 10 seconds to see, oh, did the valve open? And if so, what color is it? And you have to tell the expert right away what color it is and the expert will give you a valid time to submit or uh, another thing you could do is memorize the rules I have memorized the rules but I haven't done this module in practice yet because I'm gonna be honest this module is kind of unreasonable <laughs> it's made by speaking evil which has made plenty of hard models and the hardest models in the community as of right now like bamboozled again Bamboos and Button Grid, Ultimate Cycle, Simon Stores when it came out, it was the hardest, and it was his first module. This, uh, here's Red again. So now Red is already, two is already stored, so now I have to change it since I can't do one or two, we're gonna have to do three. There we go. And as of right now, nothing is stored for yellow or blue, but as if yellow or blue buttons appear, then we will have to have values to store for those as well. So yeah. <laughs> so, now I know some of you may be asking, why are you making a tutorial for an unreasonable module? That's because I have a way to make it more reasonable. Not completely reasonable, but more reasonable. I'm gonna show you what that is right now. As you can see, here I have another bomb. I've already messed with it a little bit. As you can see, I already have one stored in yellow. And now I'm just waiting for it to reactivate. Um, I can also find out the solution to this wire. As you can see, it's the first wire because the first wire is black. And uh, zero, actually, wait. No, it would be the fourth. No, it, it's the last black wire that I have. Anyways, it's gonna be the first wire that I'm gonna be cutting for this. Now also, some of you may have been hearing some sound. 
that ever, that happens every time the arrow runs out. That is not being edited in. That is actually what's being played on my computer right now. And now you're probably thinking, Espic, did you find a way to fix it? Is the fab finally reasonable? And, well, I didn't fix it exactly. Um, as you can see, it's actually getting a little out of sync now. Um, let me fix that quickly. There we go. Now it should be in sync. Uh, it's not perfect, uh, but I'll show you the solution I found um, to the very annoying button beeps. As you can see, here's yellow again. Now I'm up to submit three, since that's going to be the next lowest value. I always like to go with the lowest value when submitting uh, arrows for this. Alright, so how am I doing those beeps? I'm going to explain right now. So this right here in the bottom left corner is a program called Brawlbox. Uh, this program is used for modding some Wii games like Super Smash Bros. Brawl and Mario Kart Wii, but that's not the point of this program that we're going to be using right here. Uh, I've loaded this file called tvab underscore beep dot brstm. A brstm is an audio file that you can set a loop point on. And, uh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Unfortunately, I'm not able to get my cursor to be visible in this window. I tried, but it wasn't working. And uh, what I can do here is I can press this play button and it plays for me a beep. And I have this time to exactly 10 seconds. And as you can see, when 10 seconds is over, it'll stop. And as you can see, nothing will happen. Uh, but I need to check this loop box. And if I press play, now uh, it will play the sound. And after 10 seconds, it will then loop. And it will keep doing that for as long as I keep this thing running. Now, as you may have noticed, there is a little out of sync issues. Uh, I did check the code. It should be timed to exactly 10 seconds. However, there might be issues with some lag or other things as well. Uh, I actually did uh, uninstall every single other mod except for the very annoying button to try to get this to work. Uh, the lag was still there. So this setup isn't perfect, um, but um, you know it works to some degree. And uh, another thing, if it ever gets out of sync, I can press this button to immediately go back to the start and resync it very quickly. Um, so that's basically what I use. Um, you don't have to use this, this is very out of the way. Uh, if you have stuff like Audacity, then uh, if you have a WAV file, which, by the way, I'll leave a BRSTM file, which is what you use in Brawlbox, a WAV file and an MP3 file of this sound effect in the description below. And uh, with Audacity or another audio IDE or audio editor, you can um, set a loop point and you can just have this run um, for the very annoying button. Now, unfortunately in Audacity, it might maybe be a little lag during the resets. And I, the reason I use Brawlbox is because it loops smoothly, but I also have a nice fast reset button. So now let's actually start a bomb up and I'm gonna stop this. Actually, it was a little out of sync there, but uh, this is what I do um, whatever I get this on. I actually haven't done it in practice yet, but in theory, this is what it should be. Uh, this is what, um, how this is how it would work in practice. Um, so as you can see, the timer's running out and add, oh, that's off. Whoops. Uh, let me do that quickly. I usually just like to do this. Now I have this sync to when the timer runs out. Uh, this is because, you know, for the time when the arrows uh, on the module are like um, going down like this, there's a time before anything can happen because you can't submit it. I mean, you could submit a nine at the time, but you know, it only happens with two valid colors. Regardless. Anyway, so here's yellow. So I'm gonna submit yellow on one. So I'm gonna have to wait. And after I submit yellow on one, I'm immediately going to restart this track on Brawlbox. We're using this button right here. So um, this works, quote unquote. It's out of the way and it's not perfect, but it is, you know, it works in some ways and it does make it a little bit more reasonable. So if I was like doing something on the other side of the bottom, in this case, there's not anything. And I hear this. And go check on fab and see it's not activated so I can just continue what I'm doing. Just do that every 10 seconds and when it activates then, you know, submit an answer. Um, as you can see, it's still not perfect. It's, it did get out of sync right there, but that might be just from in-game lag. Nothing really that 
anyone can do there, unless if I'm just doing it wrong. And as you can see, it activates again, so I have to change this to three. There we go. And on, I'm going to turn this off for now. And if I were to solve this, oh, whoops. What? How is that the first wire? Okay. Um. <laughs> so, um, now once again, I wanted to mention earlier, since this module is a pseudo needy, but it's also a boss module, when all other non-bosses are solved, like this wires, um, this timer doesn't run out, and it'll just reset, and I can spend it the time I want. I still have to submit a correct answer. I'm going to submit one here for green, since nothing is stored. Nothing, no color has stored one, and it's a valid color, and there we go. So yeah, uh, I won't go into too much other detail on how else you can do this module. Um, memorization of the rules and what you've stored is probably your best bet. <laughs> and also another nice trick to know is that all of them are valid on one. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Um, Brawl, a link to Brawl Box Down will also be in the description if you want to go find it. And it'll have a link to a uh, probably media fire of um, f files you can use to play this with. So thank you guys for watching. And as always, keep talking and don't explode.